hello okay i'm back with another weekend vlog for you guys don't know how entertaining it's gonna be don't know how much i'm actually gonna get up to i thought it was gonna be loads and today has been the most hectic day ever you know one of those days where you think you've got everything under control and then as the day goes by more and more things are getting added to the to-do list things are cropping up here there and everywhere i've got so much uni work to do next week i don't want to think about it when i think about it too much i think i'm gonna have a mental breakdown instead i'm gonna vlog <laughs> So yeah, this was supposed to be a spend a wholesome weekend with me. I was going to do some fun stuff. Maybe get some paints. I don't really know. I don't know what the plan was. I wanted to go like vintage shopping and stuff as well. I really don't think there's going to be time for that now. However, I am doing something fun this evening. Right, basically this, this is my thought process. Okay, it, it makes sense in my head. But basically, I can't spend a day hungover this weekend. I literally cannot afford to take a whole day out being hungover. So I can't go out and get drunk. So my thought is, I've been, cause I didn't drink last weekend. You know when you not drink drunk for a weekend and you're like craving a sip of alcohol? To get that out of my system, I just wanna have two beers tonight. That's the plan. So two beers, it'll quench my thirst. It'll make me feel like I've been out this weekend but I won't have to sacrifice time being hungover and all that shit. I'm going to a place called Book Club tonight. On a Thursday night, they have jazz night. It's the cutest, most wholesome thing ever. I, I'm obsessed with jazz music. When did I start getting into jazz music? I don't know. I was really into it when I was in Australia and I used to go to like jazz bars in Sydney and Melbourne. Belfast just doesn't have, they have this one called a jazz bar, Burt's in the Merchant. It can't really be classified as a jazz bar. They just have a piano player in it every now and then kind of shit. So yeah, Leeds has jazz night at Book Club and then it also has a jazz bar in town that's got jazz on every night of the week, which I still haven't been to. Yeah, I'm meeting my friend Robin. It's 20 past seven now. We're aiming for half eight. I think I can do that, okay? Although I haven't eaten yet, but I'm like not that hungry. Do you ever get when you're stressed? I don't know, you feel like you've got that fluttery feeling in your heart and your tummy because you're like just like here, there and everywhere all over the place and it fucks with your appetite. That's what I feel right now. Like I don't feel hungry at all, but I know I need to eat. So I made this like nice cannellini bean stew. I have leftover of that. So I'm gonna go heat some of that up and then start getting ready. Wow, just look at that. She looks stunning. Put some actual lighting on so you can see me a bit better. Yeah, so I made my friend Robin, right? And we are just really, both really unorganized when it comes to birthdays and stuff like that. Both of our birthdays were like, was hers in April? Oh my God, wait, was it April? That's so embarrassing. It's literally October and I'm giving her a birthday present. But hers was before summer and mine was in May before summer and we both forgot to give each other presents. So tonight I'm gonna give her my present. She gave me hers like a couple weeks ago. I'm a little bit late. <laughs> she actually got me that cookbook. It's called like The Female Factor or something. It's written by a doctor and it's like meant to be all these recipes that are like good for female hormones and shit like that. Moisturizer, we're using the boots, vitamin C stuff. This is literally like four pounds. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you what I got her. So I got her this book. Girls Will Be Girls by Emer O'Toole. I just love this book and I rave about it to everyone and I know she's gonna love it. And then you can't see it, but in here is a little mini plant in a little turquoisey pot. It's really cute. And then I got her, I bought her this thing of chai. And it's literally the best chai ever. The cafe really near me called the Bowery in Leeds. It's the one they sell and the one they use in their chais and their really good. Sliding's really not doing me any favours, is it? I'm just sticking on a bit of the Elf Halo Glow. We're really not pushing the boat out tonight, by the way. It's a very, very casual place and I'm only going to be there for a couple hours. Using a wee bit of the EX1 foundation and then I'm just going to take a mix of these two concealers because one is too light and one's a bit too dark. This is the Barry M concealer. This is the Vitamin Babe one by the Beauty Crop. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly set all that with the HMB Cosmetics Loose Powder and just a quick bronze using the Fenty Beauty. I think it's called Private Island. Private Island Bronzer. I'm just gonna put that all over my eyes, my nose, under my lip, and jaw. And then just using Milani Luminoso for blush. This is so frantic. My hand literally could not be moving quicker. Yeah, I'm not really arsed about doing anything about my brows, to be honest. I'm gonna curl my lashes and chuck on some mascara and Bit of lip balm, call it a day. Oh my god, that dinner was delicious. Please try that recipe. Do yourself a favor. Right, I don't really know what to wear. I feel like the weather so far has been not too cold. Like you can still kind of get away with just wearing a jacket or a hoodie as long as you've got like layers underneath it. But I think at nighttime, you probably need a coat. 
I don't know, I'm just not used to this winter dressing Yeah, in my head, like we're still in autumn. Okay, this is what I have come up with. Wait, let me show you. Okay, so we've got a little black dress, but it's doing something weird, right? I don't have any boobs, so I need to pull the straps up to like tighten this because at the minute it's like falling. Do you see that? Yeah, not a good look. Okay, we're layering up because I would not be going out in a dress in bare legs and bare arms. So we've got tights, we've got leg warmers, we've got my buffalo shoes on then underneath the dress we've got like a long vest tucking into the tights you know like the way you used to do when you were in school and you used to tuck your little your little Marks and Spencer's vest into your tights oh and it is Marks and Spencer's vest oh on top of that we've got a mesh long sleeve top and then we've got the dress and then we've got the shrug so I feel pretty cozy in this options are to either leave it like this and just like wear a big scarf because that keeps me cozy I like this scarf with with the shrug. Option number two, puffer jacket. It's literally in bits, like the fabric's all peeling in the back. I really need a new one, but I just thought this can do me for this winter and I'll get a new one when I'm back home because there's no point in me getting one while I'm in Leeds. Option number three is this little number. No, I absolutely love this jacket, but it really takes away from everything else going on because it just becomes the star of the show. Although I don't mind that. I don't mind her being the star of the show. What do we think? Okay, I'm actually just not going to be stupid and wear the puffer. And I've got my little mittens. No, I think it's meant to look like that though, where it's like a gap in the middle. A gap, yeah. No, it is. It's meant to be like sparse. This is your birthday present. Oh. Six months late. <laughs> the bag matches your hair. The same spray spot. <laughs> oh. There's so much in this bag. Oh. I never would have guessed. <laughs> I was gonna get you the mint one, then I thought, no, I'll get the chai because it's yeah, really nice. Fair. I do need to be off my caffeine as well. So. Yeah, there's no caffeine in it. I'm excited for this. <laughs> yeah, it's a book by an Irish author. It's like a memoir, but it's all about like gender roles and like growing up in Catholic you can Ireland. See this in your room, you know? Yeah, it's so good. I think you'll love it. Excited. The last thing. It's so cute. It's just little. It's so cute. I know it's really cute. Oh. feeling like the glassy eyes that's how i feel from three pints i used to literally think i was invincible when i was like 20. when i was 21 working in a bar drinking five nights a week not getting a hangover any day like getting up and getting on with it every single day i used to tell people no i don't get hangovers i'll never get hangovers i'm invincible and here i am feeling slightly hungover from three pints last night was so cute so they had like the main band that were like 
performing and then at the end of their like performance then they just had a little jam session and like and loads of people came along with their instruments like they said okay let's have a jam who wants to who wants to come up so here's me thinking there might be one or two people that will like hop on the microphone and then literally about 10 people just have their full instruments there was cellos there was violins there was people with microphones there was saxophones like you name it there was someone in the crowd with that instrument i was like sorry where have you been keeping these this whole time but yeah it must just be like a known thing but any of the times i've been there before they haven't had that jam session at the end but it was really cute and there was this really i think i took a little video of her the really cute old woman singing oh my god my heart she was adorable. I have a lecture at 12. It's now 20 to 11. I'm gonna go within the next 10 minutes and try and get a bit of work done before that in, in uni. I'm so glad I did that last night because if I hadn't have done that, I know it would have got Saturday night and I'd be like, oh my God, I'm being so boring sitting in. Should I just meet someone for a drink, blah, blah, blah. And then Saturday night, it always goes too far you always end up at a party <laughs> so i'm really happy i just did that had my three pints got it out of the system had a nice wholesome night watching jazz what more could you want i've literally spent this morning having a really nice and lazy morning on the phone to my boyfriend and then my mum my mum has given me okay i didn't want to say this at the time wait okay sorry backtrack my mum through her work I don't know has this reward scheme thing and anyway she always gets sent these like little qr codes or like vouchers or whatever to use in just to use in different places it could be nero's it could be pizza express it could be wherever so she sent me a free coffee from nero's apparently the code the vouchers and stuff never work in belfast this is the thing about living in northern ireland you know when chains bring in like new menu things or like new vegan things or new offers and it'll always be uk wide and then it'll just say in tiny writing excluding northern ireland so i think that's what happens all the time with these qr codes that she gets sent is they're actually not applicable for northern ireland so she screenshot that and sent it to me so i'm gonna go get a little free coffee in nero's even though i actually I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion, but I despise Nero's coffee. I didn't tell her this, but she's probably watching this now, so I'm sorry, mum. But I despise Nero's coffee. I think it is the worst in terms of chains. You know, I don't mind Starbucks coffee. Starbucks is probably my top contender. Then we'll go Pret, then Costa, and then Nero. But like, it's on the floor. Yeah, not really a Nero fan. But what I was thinking, it's a free hot drink, so like, I could get a nice chai latte, I could get a nice hot chocolate, a nice mocha. Who knows? The world is my oyster. Anyway, I actually just got a couple of packages. So I thought I'll unbox them for you. I'm actually very excited about this one. It's from an Irish activewear brand called Bound. I wear their stuff all the time and they really kindly let me pick out some more things. Their leggings are insane since i've started wearing their leggings they're the only leggings i can wear now for yoga so yeah shout out to bind because i'm obsessed i actually think i have a discount code with them do i i'll message her and see if there's one and if there is one i'll put it in the description i don't make any money off of it by the way but it's just in case you guys want to use it beige leggings as well oh we've got some little shorts I've never tried their shorts before. Oh, we've got a little matching crop and then same thing in black. Oh my God, very excited to go to the gym next so I can wear them. What's going on with my hair? Like this. Like. Fixed. Oh, no. Okay, this is the fit of choice. I've got my little picante cream jumper on and some blue, navy blue cargoes and my cream converse. Chai. If you don't know what a dirty chai is, it is a chai latte, which is just like milk and then the chai powder, but with a shot of espresso in it. So good. I'm on the bus on my way to uni. I'm actually just gonna make it in right on time. Here's me thinking I was going in early to get with them. So cute. I love this place. Diesel car. Buzzing. Oh my god, it's really good. What was that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who is that? Is that a filter? <laughs> the first one was a filter, there was a fall babe. <laughs> oh, my camera died earlier. But I've really not been up to anything interesting. I got like most of my work done. I don't have that much left to do. I literally came back from the library at like half seven, heated up my dinner, and now I'm in my dressing room. And me and my housemate Darcy watched The Kardashians. 
Of course. Oh, have you had honey and peppermint tea? Yeah, that's really nice. I got agave the other day. Agave and peppermint tea. Who would have thought? Welcome to the humble abode. This is Darcy. Good morning. Actually, it's not the morning. It's 12 o'clock. I had a lovely lion this morning, although it was so stupid because, sorry, I was having a little banana and a cup of coffee before I went to the gym. So stupid because I literally was so tired yesterday, went to bed at 10 o'clock, could have easily fallen asleep then, but do you know when you just get hooked on TikTok and whatever else, just scrolling and like you're actually trying to keep yourself awake, like I was wanting to sleep and my eyes were tired. But for some reason I wasn't letting myself until about one o'clock. So it's fine, I had a nice lion. It's actually a really grim day. And I love when you have a lion and you look out and it's like that and you just feel so cozy. And you're like, I'm not even mad about not being up early because I do not want to be out in that. Right, look how embarrassing this is. So I just uploaded stuff on my Instagram stories for Shreddy because they release new protein bars, right? I somehow managed to completely miss this when I was filming and editing it. But today, when I have to upload it at that time on the dot is when I notice it. So obviously I can't do anything about it. So it's for their protein bar and I'd obviously taken a bite of it before I then started to film these stories. I just have a big bit of protein bar in my mouth. Wait, it won't focus. Look at that. <laughs> How did I miss that? I'm so embarrassed and I can't do anything about it. I can't even add on the screen, like ignore the protein bar in my teeth because like it didn't get approved as having that. So yeah, anyway. <laughs> oh my God, I'm trying on my new bound stuff. Look how nice it is. The shorts are like, perfect i always size up in shorts so i think i got the extra small in everything apart from the shorts i got the small because i hate you know when shorts are too tight around here and then it like makes like a dig in your leg do you know what i mean so i yeah sized up in these so they're nice and roomy in the waistband and the t-shirt is just i think this could be my new favorite type of top for working out in i'm normally a strappy vest kind of gal but this is just so comfortable. I also have no boobs, so I don't need to wear a bra with this. But like, if you have boobs, you probably would need to. Any fellow yoga queens know how hard it is to get the right shorts because you don't want ones that are like that too thick of a material and they're not very movable. Like they're not comfortable for when you're doing yoga. You want like that nice thin material that's really flexible, but then you don't want them too short because you know when you're doing moves where you're all like this and shit, like the last thing you want to be thinking about is your hoo-ha flying out everywhere. This is why I like like shorts. This length is perfect for me. This is the almond set. Oh my God, she's so cute. Oh, by the way, I did actually message her to see if there was a discount code and there is it's just emma neil i think gets you 10 percent off no no just obsessed and love supporting my fellow irish queens okay i've changed back in the black with the leggings because it's fucking freezing actually it's not even cold it's just like it's just raining and gray i'm really scared the gym's gonna be really busy i fucking hate busy gyms. Oh my god, I rediscovered skips yesterday. How good are skips? I bought multi-pack and ate three of them in one go in the library. They are so nice. And they're vegan. I'm gonna make some tofu scramble. I don't know if I should just make double so I have enough for tomorrow because I do like myself a good brunch at the weekend. Yeah, I'm gonna do double. Do you want a recipe? Okay, fine. We're just gonna dice an onion first, okay? And then I'll be back. We get our chopped onions into a pan. I'm running out of oil, but we're gonna add as much oil as we've got left. Lots of garlic granules. You can do fresh garlic if you want. I just can't be bothered. Lots of salt. And then white pepper. I don't know why, but I really associate white pepper with eggs. I think it's like a very Irish thing. You know when you go to like those country, country cafes and they serve you like the fries and stuff? I feel like they always have white pepper on the eggs. So for some reason when I add white pepper to my tofu scramble, it just makes it taste a lot more eggy to me. We're gonna get that on the hob. Wait until the onions are nice and caramelized before the next step. Okay, our onions are on. We're gonna drain our tofu. Oh my God, I'm literally crying from those onions. <laughs> I'm gonna take half of this. Oh my God, I actually can't stop crying. This is gonna do me for two portions. So usually I do about a quarter block for one portion. Literally just with your hands, crumble it in like that and it'll all just fall apart. Now we're gonna add some turmeric and paprika. This is more for color than flavor, although it does add a nice flavor, but just be careful you don't add too much because you don't want like really turmeric-y tofu scramble, you know? You can also 
also add some milk at this point if you prefer your Toby Scramble a bit runnier. And I also like adding a bit of nutritional yeast, which I just got my hands on the other day. I've got these Meatless Farm Chipolata sausages. I can't be bothered cleaning another pan, so I'm just gonna move the Toby Scramble over and cook them on the side. They're only little, look at them. Should have put the sausages on when the onions were frying because they take way longer. We've got three little slices of toast. So I'm just going to chuck the toby scramble on it because I feel like it needs to come off the heat. And then put the sausages back on for a few more minutes. The sausages are done. I'm going to drench her in some sriracha. Because what is a brunch without being covered in sriracha? Mm, 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 mm. There you have it. My tofu scramble recipe. Oof, look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this and then I think I need to sit down and record my podcast. My podcast this week, it is, I put up on my Instagram story, send me your embarrassing sex stories. I checked it after 10 minutes to see the responses and I was literally screaming. I'm very excited. Actually, I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified to read them all out, but it's gonna be a funny episode. I'd really love to start doing like a video format of the podcast, but imagine a video of me just sat here like this. I don't think it would go down too well. So yeah, I think I'll probably have to wait till I finished uni and have a bit of a better setup for doing a video version of the podcast. In the midst of everyone buying alcohol to go out tonight, we are buying our ingredients to make dinner. Spring onions, we're gonna make a coconut milk, laksa, ramen thing. Should we, oh, I've got peppers. Pak choy? Yeah, I got, yeah. Should we get some like Chinese broccoli? Do we want, should we get normal mushrooms or no? I kind of like having them because then you can put them all in it whereas with them we'd be like scared to put more than one in i usually like sesame oil this but all oil's gonna have to do do you have sesame do. seeds spring onions no mm. we'll just do as many as you want i don't care. We do they're not that hot those ones you this. can put in as many as you want yeah do you those care about the seeds ones. No, I like the seats. Okay. I, I was really running. struggling to understand that message that you sent me earlier, <laughs> so I just ended up not replying. Do you actually fancy getting this card out for me? There's I'm, no other knife because I want to. So well, I'm your garlic answer. I love having stinky garlic fingers. No, Sam literally calls me garlic fingers. Because <laughs> I never wash my hands after cooking. I literally keep eating like red, so much red onion every day and like garlic at lunchtime and then I go out into the world. I always do that, but like I feel like everyone does that, so surely. Um, I to be honest, I don't think everybody does that. <laughs> you know, only three packets of skips and then just buy three straight. No, if someone if you're on a train and someone gets a tuna sandwich, I you're, That's me. That's criminal. Pickle girls are crazy. I'm a pickle girl. Yeah, I know exactly. Pickle girl, I'm proud. Taste it. Have you ever done the thing where you put the whole thing of garlic in the oven? No, I was thinking that earlier though. We did it for making garlic bread once and it was incredible. Oh, Just like mix it into butter and spread it on the baguette. Sounds so good. I've gone for some sub noodles. <laughs> I always overdo it on the noodles. I'm starving, so that's yeah, a good thing. I'm hungry now. You know what's really annoying? I don't have like a big ladle type of thing for spooning the and ramen. We'll do this and then pour it in. I really so need scared. to buy one of them. Every time I pass Wilco, I forget. So good. <gasps> How good does this look? Sorry, we, we are eating on. well tonight. Wow. Watch me get this all over myself. I've got ramen spoons for us too. Do you a have a bib? And <laughs> I was gonna say and chopsticks, but no, not a bib. Wow. She is beautiful. Stunning. My mouth is so I make spicy. this on a weekly basis these days. If you want the recipe for this, it's on my TikTok. I think I called it my peanut butter coconut milk ramen, but it's more like a laxa. So Robin has just locked us out of my bedroom. <laughs> yeah, basically I've got a lock on my bedroom door. None of the other bedrooms do it. I just asked to get it put in because I'm really security conscious. All the locks in this building, they're all the ones that like lock automatically behind you. And she left the keys in my bedroom, closed the door behind her. And it's a Saturday night. <laughs> this is the stupid bitch that locked my door. <laughs> no, I don't think he's gonna charge me. I just said to Darcy, do you think he's gonna charge me? And she was like, no. He definitely charged Frankie, like our landlord, a lot of money. But is that a private landlord or is it? Yeah, I think he has like his own company. Well, can everybody look please, what we got? Can everybody please si send one pound to go fund me so that I don't have to pay for anything? <laughs> no, my landlord's really nice. I don't know if he will charge me for that. One time, my sister had to pay like 
hundreds to be lit in hers. Yeah, it's so ridiculous. This is what we've got for dessert. Chocolate mousse with salted caramel and coconut cream. Ooh, I've never tried this. Oh, thanks, mom. Well, it's actually pretty slimy. Garlic fingers. Be intrigued to try the cheesecake one as well. I don't think I've had cheesecake since I've been vegan. Just keep the wee jar for something after. Oh, it's like mousse. Wait, what's the bottom? Oh, it's like moussey the whole way. Yeah, I thought it had like a crunchy layer on the bottom. It's nice, it's very decadent. It is really nice, but I definitely will do something crunchy. I feel like I'm probably gonna wanna go to see after this. <laughs> yeah, but we should just go and get the cheesecake. Rise and shine. We're on our way to yoga, health queens. Early morning queens. <laughs> not glowing. Our class is at 9.15. Look at us like on a nine. Sunday. Yeah, no hangover, just living. We're in the vintage shop in Hyde Park. It's actually really good at the minute, wait. They're quite nice, this little vest is. It's like a little furry gilet. She's really cute. But she's 18 pounds. I feel like it's something you'd find on vintage for way cheaper. Hmm, that's cute. You need a jacket for um, going to uni. Let's see. <laughs> I like that one. Look at my shoulders. I just like the way the orange is like peeking through in the inside. Yeah, it also does just remind me of when I worked at Top Shop though because we have. Oh, uh, yeah. I like this. Is this it? diesel? Yeah. That would look really weird on me though. It's the way it comes in as well at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I want this. It's like giraffe print. But it's 40 pounds, so it's not happening. Oh, they're, they're so nice. I feel like they look so tiny. Get them. Should I try them on or just get them? Just try them on. I don't know if I love or hate this. Oh, that's such a shame because they're so nice. They make your bum look incredible. It's like somebody's actually taking them off, you know? So you could get them lengthened? Yeah. You need them? Oh, I get them. Yeah. How much are they? 25. Yeah, yeah I get them. Okay. Try the top one as well. Yeah. It reminds me of my Savage Fenty blue one. They're really nice together. Yeah, I think that's good. Not us back in book club for the second time this weekend. <laughs> We've both moved on to soy lattes instead of oat lattes, and look how creamy they are. Yum. They, they just really slap, don't they? Yeah, especially in winter. Yeah, I'm back on the soy milk. Look at Mr. Doggy. He's so cute. Mr. Doggo! Why is he so awkward? He reminds me of George, how awkward he is. He's kind of like, it's like Bill's kind of. No, I think he's like a long haired version of George. No, it looks really nice. It's just a lot smaller than yours. Let's do off that. That's a big fat sandwich. Okay, well, we're sharing, so. No, we're I've not. Decided, yes, we are. Are you sure? sure? Yes. Okay. I've had such a nice morning. I'm just walking home from Book Club. I'm gonna call into a few charity shops. I feel like Sunday is the worst day possible to go to charity shops because everyone gets the good things like throughout the week and on a Saturday when they're busy and then you literally can't find anything. The charity shopping was unsuccessful. Didn't find a single thing. Also, not all of them were open on a Sunday, which I kind of forgot, but I did get some things in Wilco. I got a ladle because it really pissed me off when we were serving a ramen last night that I didn't have a ladle. Finally, got some decent night well I'm, I'm hoping they're decent the knives in our kitchen at the minute are diabolical got this lamp now it's really really ugly it's just gray they had it in gray and they had it in cream and looking back on it i should have got it in cream i don't know what was going through my head anyway it was on sale for two pounds i'm gonna take this lampshade off and then i got this little bulb so it's gonna be like an exposed bulb with those ones and it's like the amber glass and then like the zigzag filament i feel like it's gonna look quite cool i got this little thing you can use it as a tea strainer or if you want to like dust some chocolate or some cinnamon over the top of your coffee only like a pint i also when we were in book club i could just see the sweet treats eyeing me up at the till oh no is it unmelted a chocolate oreo tiffin so i'm gonna sit down and edit my podcast and this is gonna keep me going I'm gonna make a little cup of tea moment of truth I love this bulb already. I know it's gonna look really cool. Okay, it fits. She's a DIY queen. <laughs> Imagine getting chuffed at yourself for getting the right light bulb for a light. That is just like the low of all those. Let's see if it works. Oh my God, it's actually really ugly. <laughs> that is not a nice lamp. Right, at least it works. And the light bulb is really nice. 
I don't even know if you can see that, that it's like the zigzaggy thing. It does look really cool, but like I, this is a no for me. <laughs> Where can I put it that will make it look okay? I just need more like nice warm mood lighting for evenings. Okay, I'm just gonna stick it behind my wee plant. And then you don't really see that. I'll show you what it's like later when it's dark, but I feel like that's okay, isn't it? I mean, for two points. Okay, this is it in the dark. It looks a lot better. Oh, you can see the filament, the reflection of the filament in the window better. Okay, we're gonna go cook some stir fry for dinner. I'm actually a bit fuming, I have to cook. I don't really like cooking on a Sunday night. I'm either takeaway or like a frozen pizza or like an oven dish, something easy. But I don't have anything like that, so we're gonna make a little stir fry. I've changed my mind. I'm gonna do another ramen, but not quite as elaborate. I'm very happy with my new knife. Look how easy it cuts through this pepper. I'm gonna try and make enough to do me for two portions because it'll save me cooking another night this week. Yeah, we're doing a cup of miso, a big glug of soy, a big glug of rice wine vinegar, and a big score of sriracha. You just want to keep adding water until it's like diluted enough. Yeah, that's much better. I got cocky with my new knife and tried to cut the tofu into my hand and obviously just slice straight into my finger. Let's use my new ladle. There we go. That looks good. Pretty impressed. That was a very last minute thrown together meal. I think that took me about 15 minutes all in all. I don't know about anyone else, but I've been obsessed with Stormzy recently. I had a real Stormzy obsession, I'm gonna say about a year and a half ago. And then he just disappeared off the face of the earth. He deleted all his social media. He didn't release any music, obviously, because he was making his new album. He wasn't on radio, like he was nowhere to be seen. Now, obviously, with the release of his new album, he's back on his PR shit. He's started up social media again, and I am obsessed with him all over again. I just think he has the most calming presence in the world. His voice, I could listen to it for hours. There needs to be a Stormzy podcast, or if not a podcast, then like, he needs to be on that app. What do you call that app? Calm or something. The one that Harry Styles has like a bedtime story thing on. Stormzy needs one of them because he has the nicest voice in the entire world. Anyway, the point of this story was that I'm gonna watch his Lou through interview now while I eat my dinner. The fact he's just doing this interview, chilling in his slippers is everything. <laughs> this is why I love him so much. I just spent some time putting everything in my to-do list for the week. If I'm not hungover, I do this on a Sunday night. But if I am hungover on Sunday and I can't bear to look at my week, then I'll just wait until the Monday morning. But I like doing it on Sunday night, it makes me feel a lot more prepared, like I know what's gonna happen tomorrow. I didn't actually end up getting my podcast finished this evening, unfortunately, although I don't have too much left to go. Probably like 10 minutes of audio left to edit, which is grand, I'll get it done tomorrow evening or something. But I did finish my presentation, which I'm buzzing about. I actually am really happy with how it's turned out. It's like a women in sport campaign, but it's really hard to know like if your work is actually any good or not but when you haven't seen other people's like I'm really interested to see on Wednesday what other people's work is like because something in your brain always wants to tell you that yours is shit even though I am happy with it I'm like oh but maybe it is shit compared to other people's but I have no idea but yeah anyway that's it for me it is 10 past 10 and I'm gonna go to bed hope you enjoyed the weekend vlog just me doing a whole lot of nothing thanks so much for watching good night guys